Something that we will be seeing also in our classes is the different techniques on how to use encaustic like uh, more liquid, thicker, transparencies, etc. etc. So in, in this case, um, I'm going to use the um, the encaustic as if it were watercolor. Okay, so I'm going to paint uh, some flowers. I'm going to use magenta. I'm going to use some um, orange. And let's use some violet. Okay. So that for now. And now let's. So we're going to do exactly as uh, we're called, using very transparent with a lot of, with a lot of color. Okay, mix some orange here. So we have these beautiful clean tones. Okay. Look how beautiful those colors are. This can use a lot of much water if you want. Add some intensity, some points. It's more paint. Okay. So for now, now also, I'm going to do with a little bit of purple here Touches here, and there, maybe. Now very light. So. Look how beautiful those colors are. Now I need some yellow. I'm gonna use some Indian yellow.
little touches here and there also we can do anything with um, water colors is uh, you need to work so fast because everything is moving at the same time okay and now let's do some saddle green let's see Brush a little more pointy. Okay. More water, more color. Okay. Okay, so you can see, you can really use it as a watercolor. I mean, I could go on just uh, with some finishing touches, um, but as uh, you can see, colors are so rich, beautiful, and clean. Um, also, because this is beeswax, uh, gives this uh, shiny final touch that makes the color even brighter like compare them with white color so these are things that we will be practicing in in class and uh, you will be learning um, while we do um, paintings from famous artists